Hello, one of the areas where artificial intelligence is being the most transformative is the area of healthcare. And I want to talk to you today about uh, three trends that I believe are very relevant for 2020 and um, the, the next year. So this is Paolo, this is Conversations in Artificial Intelligence, and let's talk about artificial intelligence and healthcare. This is a very broad topic, really, really broad topic, and I want to talk about only three, three topics. So this one, the first trend that I'm seeing is that uh, wearable devices in the field of uh, cardiology, and therefore predicting disease in the cardiology domain, and uh, this, is, this is the number one cause of that in the United States, but also among the, all the other countries around the world. So these devices are becoming more precise in predicting uh, the um, emergence of uh, certain anomalies in the cardiac rhythm. And uh, as a consequence, they're becoming more precise in detecting whether or not uh, you need assistance or um, predicting if you are at risk for an earth attack. Now, the next trend is really very much connected and uh, I have interviewed with uh, Dr. Kaba who is a cardiologist for the Mayo Clinic. The Mayo Clinic is one of the most respected medical organizations here in the United States and one of the best hospitals in all the country. And so the second trend is basically that these cheap ways of, if you like, detecting complex disease as those in the field of cardiology are now being integrated as processes in the diagnostic process at hospitals like the Mayo Clinic in, in the United States. So what does that mean? I mean, this is a huge thing. Just, just uh, let me explain what it means. It means that yesterday you had to go to an hospital, take a complex exam, it could be a CT scan, it could be an echo Doppler, it could be a combination of CT scan and MRI to find out if your art is something complex to be dealt with and, and be preventive. And what that means is that relatively only a few people can get screened because these exams are complex, they take time, there is a, a finite number of people that can do these exams and certainly you cannot monitor all the populations. The same thing happens for the breast cancer, for example. Yes, people talk about preventive medicine and so on, but really how many people you can screen every, every year, especially every time that you have to use complex techniques like CT scan or MRI. So there is a limit there. Now, the impact of artificial intelligence is absolutely revolutionary because basically what it's doing is it's lowering the price, not only that, but it's, it's allowing to screen a lot more people. That's absolutely a revolution and it's set to change the quality of life. And as I said, in this interview that I had with the Dr. Kaba at Mayo Clinic, they are not only doing research around this area, but they're already incorporating these new ways of detecting disease into their clinical process so that they can pre-screen a lot more people and find out if anybody needs to be escalated into those type of uh, methodologies like MRI or, or, or uh, CD scans or, or Doppler um, techniques that instead require more time and more money. Now, uh, I also have interviewed on the bracelet and, and devices, I have also interviewed Dr. Oncher, so you can find these interviews on my channel. They're very, very interesting and it will tell you a lot about these trends in medicine. The trend number three, which I think is um, if you like, it's very interesting from a humanitarian perspective is that because the cost point of doing this type of um, uh, detection of disease detections is going so much down and because the capacity to do it at scale is increasing, this is an incredible opportunity for the emerging country, the developing world that traditionally has not had the ability to spread healthcare um, evenly in the population. So we're gonna, if you like, to see not only um, any a net improvement of the quality of living in the West world, but we're gonna see also a democratization of healthcare across the globe. 
So these are three uh, very significant um, trends that are happening in healthcare today, and they are tangible. They're not just you know something that is happening. Now, imagine if you can work in this field. Imagine if you can work at devices that save life of people, that can improve the quality of people at this extend that they can detect years before what's going on. Imagine if you could work in uh, the context of medical organizations where you design new processes that, that are a combination of device and software to automate the screening of millions of people. Imagine if all this is possible. Now what you need to do in these things. So you can go from various ways. I mean you can be a medical doctor. That is, that is a, um, you know, there is established career. You can go from the engineer side, so these are established careers. But I'm telling you, the big opportunity is in between the purely technical world and the business world. Is at the level of business orchestrator or, if you like, solution designer. The solution designer, I call it the AI product managers, but it can be another figure that's the person that is, sits in between, understand the business, design the solutions and deeply understand also the science of artificial intelligence. So that person could be you. If you're interested in exploring this type of path, we at Innodemia have created a course for this. It makes the bridge between the purely engineering, the science, data science world, and the world of creating solutions. So if you're interested, click on innodemia.com or download our course brochure on the link on this video. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Bye.